Hello. In this part, we continue with segmentation of a data set from serial block phase scanning electron microscopy. So first we open the data, then we open the model. Uh, this time we'll try to segment the plasma reticulum out of the this data set. So first we create a new material by pressing the plus button. And then we name this material as the ER. Uh, currently we have two materials segmented, lipid droplets and nuclear envelope. So what we can do, we can remove this uh, data, the intensities that are within these areas from the image. In order to do that, we, we select first the material 1 in the select from list box, press right mouse button and say this is our new selection. You can see that the uh, lipid droplets were selected. Then we select the material 2, which is nuclear envelope, press right mouse button and uh, select add to selection all for all slices. Now we have these two materials selected. Now we, what we can do, we can go to the selection menu and choose replace selected area in the image. Uh, what would actually happen in this step that we will assign a new intensity to the areas that we just selected. Our background is around 190, so what we can do, we can just replace the green areas with this intensity, 190 for all slices. We can see that uh, the all intensities have gone, um, and uh, they actually, the only structures that left are uh, mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum. In the plasmic reticulum, this dataset was additionally stained. That's the reason why it is uh, it is darker than mitochondria, and it should be quite easy. It should be quite easy segmented out from this dataset. But uh, it actually makes sense to filter the, this data a little bit, and uh, one of the algorithms that may be used is the Peronomalic anisotropic diffusion which can be found in the image filters panel. If you don't see it, then it should be switched on from this place, image filters. Then uh, let's say set the parameters and start it. So the idea that we try to uh, filter this local variation of intensities while preserving the, uh, the edges of the structures. This is result of the filter. So that was the something before the filter and after. So we significantly smoothed out the, uh, the local intensities. Now uh, there are again a number of ways how the ER may be segmented. For example, um, we can use the local black and white, or just we can use the black and white thresholding. In this case, what we basically need to do, uh, the ER is dark, so we keep this upper slider at zero. And then we try to figure it out the position of the uh, low, uh, high limit slider so that the ER is uh, segmented in the way we like. Maybe we need to change step to one and uh, try to adjust the parameters so that uh, mitochondria, intensity of mitochondria will go away as much as possible. Possibly something like that. But uh, I, I think we have some missing parts in a few areas. Okay. And when we more or less happy with the result, we can press all button. And then it would allow us to segment the most of the ER fairly well. Now what we actually have in addition, we have of course some of the mitochondria were selected. Which is something which we don't really want to have. So uh, to press it further, what we can do, we can as assign this uh, the selection which we just created to the mask. So I highlight the mask in the add to list box and press shift R to replace the current mask contents with the new one. Now uh, the next step is to run statistics for the mask objects. So what we can do, go to the mask menu and select mask statistics. And the first thing we will filter objects by their sh uh, the shape. So we figured out how many and what are the size of the 3D objects that we have in our data set. Uh, we have 
quite many objects so we'll just pick the biggest one and that would be our ER. The ER is uh, kind of mostly connected maybe except this few small areas so now this is our new ER so what I'll just press of course again shift R to replace the the mask with the new one. Now it's a little bit smaller and then if I rerun this analysis so it tells me that there is only one object. But there is still quite some quite some many parts that go to the mitochondria. So now what we can basically what we can do we can switch to 2D objects and the intensity analysis. Uh, the ER profiles are quite dark and basically the mitochondria ones are quite uh, quite light. So we can filter these based on their properties of their intensities. For example, we can take the average intensity. And then if we run this algorithm now we can see the distribution. So this I guess this peak here it goes from ER and this part goes from mitochondria. So what I can do, I just click here to def with the left mouse button to define the low limit button uh, value, which is this one. And then right mouse button here to define the right edge. And then I press this do button to make a new selection. So if you can check, we can then check here to see that we actually highlighted quite nicely areas within this mitochondria. And now we can remove these from, from this masked image that we have by pressing Shift S. Okay, as a result, we can see fairly nicely segmented plasma reticulum. There are probably few places that are not really that well uh, filtered. Let's see. And then those pro have to be uh, adjusted manually. Like for example, there are these areas where the ER is actually touching the mitochondria. Those were not uh, kind of separated. What we can do, we can switch on the brush tool, make it bigger, and then they select this area, and then the press S button to subtract. Do it something like here. Let's see. Um, maybe this area, this area. So it requires a little bit of this manual checking some parts of this data set. Just to make sure that the, the mitochondria were not taken. But I think it's fairly good now. So what we can do at this step we can uh, we can select all these masked areas that we have now. Let me check here. There's another one. Something here. We can select all this uh, mask, and this can be done uh, mask to selection, all frames replace. Now they're all selected. And uh, we can now highlight this, the ER at 2, number 3, and press Shift A to add the green material, our current selection, to the material 3 which is ER. Okay, now we have the ER and the plasma reticulum and the lipid droplets uh, segmented. Now we can save the model. Let's uh, call this model as uh, BW which would indicate that we use black and white holding for segmentation of this. And now we can try to visualize it again. So we go to model, save model as, save it as a mirror mesh binary, our labels. And then we go to Amira, open data. Bind them each other, surface gen.
Okay. And basically, we can just check from the surface how it looks like. 